Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another update for you on this 2022 60 day body transformation. I know it's a long title. However, you only have to hear about it one more time because after this video, it's only one more video, which will be at day 60 and you won't have to hear this long ass title <laughs> unless I refer to it. But anyway, that's besides the point. So this is week six. I don't know if I can make six this way, but um, this is week six of this uh, 60 day body transformation. So we have two more weeks or 15, 14 more days to go. Something along the line there. Uh, not too much to update you on, um, maybe touch bases in a few things already uh, has been happening and a few of the things that are new or some updates. And again, this is, yeah, it's an update. So hopefully it's a short video. I'll try to make it short, concise, and good for you guys to understand what is going on. The very first thing I gotta say is I am standing here at 163 pounds. Last update I was 166, now 163. That is three pounds difference. I'm three, three pounds lighter, which is one and a half pound per week which is good i mean it is pretty good especially since the goal is 60 days so one and a half pound pretty good um another thing i wanted to update on was the changes i had to make to achieve those three pounds loss <laughs> So as you know, I am now traveling for work. So my 10,000 steps minimum uh, has been drastically cut because uh, the original goal was to be a minimum of 10,000 steps and cut the calories by 500. I did cut the calories by 500, but my steps, instead of staying at 10,000 steps, it went down to like 2,000, 2,500 steps a day and that's not good at all so I as you if you saw my last update only lost half a pound per week <laughs> which is a progress just not the progress I was expecting so this time around I'm still working on the road still my steps are a little bit on the low side however I had to make time to accomplish my 10,000 steps a day so I brought up my steps, kept my calorie intake the same, and result, one and a half pound per week, three weeks in the past two weeks. So that is one of the progress things I got. So one of the little changes I made. Another change is, I don't know if you notice in the picture, not in the picture, but in the videos, I do, I did get a little bit of a tan. It's been kind of hot out here. I don't know if you can tell my little, on the shiny side <laughs> because I'm kind of hot in here as you know there's no AC in the shed so I gotta go with, with what I got so got a little bit of a tin not much just a little bit uh, which that's another update that I have for you that's a bad thing it's that even though I'm getting leaner I'm looking better and tanner and now there's a chance I might not go to the beach. So this 60 day buyer transformation may end up just for fun, not even to show it off at the beach. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Uh, there's still a few more weeks to go for, uh, in order for us to perhaps go to the beach. If we don't end up going, it's fine. Uh, just a bummer that I didn't get to show it off, but I am definitely not stopping this 60 day body transformation because uh, I'm not going to the beach. Uh, that was just the cherry on top. That was just gravy. So that's the update I have for you on that aspect. So I updated you on the changes I made calorie wise, a little bit of tan, I uh, lost the three pounds in two weeks. And now what you've been waiting, the uh, Turk sorry the placebo pills update not really an update everything is pretty much the same uh, the only thing that is i didn't notice any strength gains in the past two weeks which is fine at some point you gotta level up 
and maybe take a pause or take a little bit of a break on gaining uh, strength. So I'm guessing that's what's happening now. Uh, maybe for next week I'll notice something, uh, but as of right now I didn't notice any difference between last week and this week or the past two weeks and now. So strength gains, not much to update you on that. On that. Uh, energy levels still the same. I can definitely count on the energy levels throughout the day. The only one thing is that I try not to take the placebo pills at night time. Uh, I noticed that one time I traveled for work. It was night time. At the time I got there, I usually take my placebo pills and my multivitamins uh, before I work out. So I got there around 7 p.m., 8 took my placebo pills, my multivitamins, and as usual, I went to the fitness room to work out, and I have so much energy, not like jiggery energy or craziness, uh, but I went, I went back to the room, got my shower, I got ready for bed, and I still, it's not like I was tired, because I worked all day, but I wasn't tired. I was like, I need to sleep, because the phone is gonna ring, and I have to go back to work. So, I still had energy when I went to bed. However, I did fall asleep. It took me a little bit because I kind of have a little bit of energy still going on through me. So I fell asleep and then I woke up normal. So I, tr I will try not to take my placebo pills at night, even though I will know I will work out at night. I have to take it probably around, no later than 6 p.m. I will say, not probably no later than five to be honest. Um, uh, what else? Recovery, still the same. I still, I'm still recovered. Like I worked out. What was yesterday? Yesterday was uh, back and bicep. Yes, back and bicep. I hit those bicep really hard yesterday. Uh, if I would have hit the biceps as hard as I did yesterday, uh, a few months ago, I should have been having cramps right now. I wouldn't be able to stretch out my arms or bend them or anything. So right now, pretty good. I like that part. Um, strength, as I said, I didn't notice anything on strength. Uh, sleep, still the same. I can fall asleep and wake up refreshed. And every time I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm not afraid to open my eyes to go to the bathroom. Because <laughs> when I go back to bed and close my eyes, I'm out again. So that's pretty good. And the one problem I had was, um, the digestion problem or aka the constipation still there however i'm combating it with fiber so i'm, I'm bringing up my vegetable intake a little bit higher to mitigate the problem but i do know that it's still there like if i cut my vegetables my fiber intake I know I'm gonna have that little bit of a problem. We'll see how things go once the 60 days come to a halt and I completely stop the placebo pills and we'll see if I go back to normal. See how things will, how things will go after that. So that's it. Short video for you today. Maybe not as short as you expected it to be. However, if you have any comments, questions, doubts, concerns, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, pound the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.